Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Friday, March the 20th, and it's now 8.45 p.m. And I just listened to a video from uh, Hard News TV 2. I shared one of her videos, uh, gee, a week ago maybe? I don't know. I felt like we we've been... Uh, we were talking earlier, some of us up here on my floor, but <laughs> it's, we were like, how long have we been shut up now? Has it been two weeks, three weeks? Oh, it's only been one. Five days, people. <laughs> it seemed like weeks, but really nothing's different for me. I don't get visitors anyway, so it's, it's no big deal to me to not get visitors. At the beginning of the week, we were allowed to have them. Now we're not allowed to have them. <laughs> no, no unessential people allowed in this building. <laughs> so, yeah, they're protecting us really big, really well. And I'm sure they're all very much convinced that this is exactly what mainstream media says it is. Okay, now, this is, uh, I'm going to let, let you listen to just a minute of this lady. And then... Um, I'll try to remember to summarize the rest and call it a night, okay? Stop what you're doing. I need your full, undivided attention. Thank you for tuning in to Hard News TV 2. I'm your host, Terry Lynn, and this is the channel where truth is like archaeology, and every day we're digging for it. Today is March 3rd, 20th, okay. 2020. Y'all, I need your attention. Right now, in the last day or so, all over the nation, county jails are pouring out inmates for the last couple of days out of the jail. This went up today, the 20th. Jails. Okay, let's get into this. Release of up to 100 Al Algenie County jail inmates a day, 100 a day, is underway as coronavirus precaution. Okay, let's keep going. I've got a... That's Allegheny. Uh, this probably isn't her area. A lot to show y'all around the country. The Bay Area from yesterday. Sheriff releases 314 inmates to reduce coronavirus risk at Alameda County Jail. Sean Observer from the 18th. Mecklenburg begins releasing jail inmates to avoid cell block outbreak of COVID-19. More L.A. County jail inmates released over fears of coronavirus outbreak. Okay, so she's showing how these diff showing different pictures of different jails, letting out all these different inmates. This is unheard of. They don't do this for the annual flu, the influenza, which kills uh, sickly people, older people. And don't you know people grow old in jail? But are they letting them out of jail just because they might get influenza in jail and die in jail? No, they don't care about them. She goes on to say how they're making room. How did she find out? Inside source, I can't remember. You're making room, or maybe she presumed this. I can't, now that part I don't remember. All right, let's listen to her another minute. Bay Area Court authorities ramp up release of inmates to stem COVID-19 risk in jail. U.S., this is out of uh, British Columbia from yesterday. I mean, uh, BBC, the, out of um, Britain, U.S. jails began releasing prisoners to stem COVID-19 infections. Y'all think about this. Jails all over the country are releasing criminals, people that have broken the law. They are opening the doors and they're letting them out. Why? Why are they emptying the jails? 
Well, here we go. A day ago, remember when Trump announced that the FDA is on fast track to approve the COVID-19 vaccine? There you go. They are emptying the jails to make room for the people that are going to refuse to take the vaccine. We saw the guy in Kentucky that refused to be quarantined. And they, they, they made that case an example to us that if you don't do what we tell you to do, you're going to be arrested. You're going to go on 24-7 armed guard. Okay. So you will be an enemy of the state. You will be a potential risk of spreading the, the virus. You will be non-compliant, a dissenter. And you and me and those that refuse to take the chip, the vaccine that some people say have the chip in it, we're going to be the ones occupying the jail. So while that... Okay, so... I just cannot see this happening before the first rapture. Possibly after. Uh, see, whether you like to hear it or not, President Trump is just setting everything up for the Antichrist. That's his job. That's what he was put in there for. Everything has to come to pass according to the Word of God. Oh, I think the cafeteria food is really getting to me. I think I'm going to have to stop accepting it. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I feel like there's a fire in here. Uh, yeah, I bacon soda. I'll do that next. Um... So yeah, while they're emptying out all these jails, you know they've never done anything like this. She's absolutely right. If they get this vaccine fast-tracked, I have a feeling it's coming out this fall. When the flu season normally is, they'll have said this coronavirus has mutated and you've got to take this vaccine. It is mandatory, no exception. And it could have a tracking device that they'll know if you took it or not. Now, that is not the same thing as the mark of the beast. But I think she gets into talking about that money. I believe that's her. Let me move it up here a little bit. Talking about the that run dragnet sting operations by mailing out letters to people with bench warrants or most wanted people about, you know, you have a unclaimed property taxes or whatever that is due to you, or you have this or that, or, you know, or it looks like a, a, a clearinghouse thing. You've been selected to win a free iPhone. Please show up at this location to claim your iPhone. And it's really a sting operation that the police get them all in one location. Right. That's an easy they catch crooks that were all involved in something, and they keep avoiding them, and they'll use a tactic like that. And they might, she's saying how they might use that kind of tactic to catch people who they have on their list has not yet gotten the vaccine. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was her that went into the checks. If you accept the thousand or two thousand or whatever it is, amount it ends up being there's probably going to be a clause uh, on a something you have to sign and so many people are how are we sign let me sign it and just hand me the money I gotta keep from getting evicted whatever it's it could very well be, she's talking about how there's no free cheese on the mousetrap. Okay, how these checks could, if you're signing your name to accept your check, you could be signing away your right to refuse 
the mark of the beast. She ties it in somehow. Well, I'm going to link this in the description box and you can listen to it. And um, I suggest you subscribe to this lady if you haven't already. She's, I think she does excellent work. All right, so again, the title is MAR for March 20, 2020. Warning, inmates now being released from jails in and mass. That's capital E-N space, capital M-A-S-S. -S. Okay, in mass. That means in large quantities. Okay, and the channel is Hard News TV 2. All separate words. The 2 is a number 2, not spelled out if that makes any difference. Okay, so things are getting heavy. I think it's just another sign we're going home soon. I know. The Lord is not going to expect those people who have already proven themselves to Him to go through the same kind of wrath as everybody else. That's not a kind, merciful, good judge. Now is it? Think about that. Our, word, our Lord's words are true. He has promised that those who are found worthy will escape all these things that are to come to pass. That's why I do not think this virus is what they're telling us. It may have been in China already because they all had to take their uh you know their annual shot so they wouldn't get sick by December the 1st and they already had the extra good uh, five whatever for cell phone use you know they already had that installed and so you know maybe that's why you know what that does is it depletes the oxygen in your lungs, in your body. Now, I can't remember the medical explanation of what it does. It burns you from the inside out, basically, like a microwave oven. Anyway, um, y'all, please try to get in the habit of cutting off your Wi-Fis whenever you're not using them. Keep your cell phones cut off whenever you're not using them, unless you're expecting a... Um, important medical phone call you tell your work your people at work I know a lot of people are working from home I don't know if any of you are but you may not be able to you know from 8 to 5 because you're working from home but after that you can we don't have to keep our cell phones on 24 7 and I always cut mine off when I'm sleeping I'm going to try to get in the habit of cutting it off in between and just turning it on from time to time to check for messages which I hardly get any anyway but so I, I pray that everybody would try to do that anyway but um just in it'll just keep you healthier while we have to be here why suffer anymore so many of us are already dealing with some issues we don't need to deal with anymore right okay so try to remember that with that I'm going to say bye for now. I will plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over myself, my computer, and over each and every single one of you and all your devices, your internet connections, so we can stay connected as long as we are here. And you keep the faith and know that God's word is true. And the same holds true for Psalm 91. If you're going to claim that no plague will enter into my house, then it won't if you believe it.
If you're just saying it, just like someone who, oh, like for instance, when I was Catholic and I had to say the rosary, which was very rare for um, a young person to have to say the rosary. Usually when I would go to the confession, I mean, we had to learn how to say it, yeah. So I probably said it once or twice, but like to say a Hail Mary, when you go into confession and and you tell the priest, uh, I would say, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My last confession was last week, or my dad would take us every week or two. Well, anyway, and I would say, um, I lied to my mom about my brother. I, I made the mess and I blamed it on him. And I didn't pick up my room very good. And I kicked stuff under the bed. And, you know, how a kid would do. And he'd say, well, for your confession, you go say two Hail Marys and one Our Father. And don't do that ever again. And I would say, yes, Father, or something like that. I don't know. I and then he would say, I absolve you of your sin. I could see his hand making the sign of the cross. I could hear his voice. I just couldn't see his face real well through that screen. But anyway, as I got older until, you know, in my teens, I mean, I was a, actually a better person as a Catholic than I, because I was so afraid to go in there and tell him anything. I didn't want anything to have to tell. <laughs> anyway, uh, the point is, um, I don't know what the point was. Why did I say that? Talking about praying. Well, Lord, forgive me. I was pleading the blood, and then I said, we can all stay connected. Oh, how we're believe When I would say my prayers... I would just ramble them off, and I would, but I'm not because I'm not praying to Hail Mary. And I would just blah, 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 blah. And I no more meant it than the man in the moon. But but when we're praying a prayer, even if it's the Lord's Prayer and it's a memorized prayer, we want to mean every word of it. Okay, so when you're saying your Psalm 91... Or reading it out of your Bible. Make sure you're meaning every word. And believing it. That's the point I wanted to make. You don't just say it and expect it to be. We have to believe it. And it's not. I was accused of taking this lightly. Because I believe that Psalm 91 will actually protect me. Not by one, by two people that are good Christian women, and I couldn't believe it. Do you believe the word of God is true or not? If you don't believe that believing and trusting the way Psalm 91 is worded, he who abides in the shadow of the Most High will dwell in the secret place. Oh, however it's worded. See, I can't even remember it right now. I get the two, the front and the back mixed up, and I say them different every time if I'm not reading it. But the point is, from the front first verse on, it's a promise or it's an, if you do this, I will do that. If you abide in me, I will protect you. It starts right off from the beginning. If you do this, I will do that. So if you believe that he will keep the virus out of your house, he will. I believe it. And you all should too. The word of God is true. And if you believe that he will protect you from this so-called plague, whether it's just an influenza strain or whatever it is, people 
may or may not be going to the hospital for. I don't know how they couldn't be. They've got to be getting something, right? I say it's it's probably a coronavirus that's had something added to make it more like the influenza, but it's not yet what's been going on in Wuhan. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Otherwise, wouldn't we be getting some video footage of people dropping over? Or was that all a ruse to scare us? How did somebody just happen to have... When I get my video... This out to use it. Okay, before I can take a picture, I have to push the side, bring it up. Bring it up. Draw a pattern. Okay? Now it pulls up. I've got a message. Okay, hit the camera. Now I know I'm slow because I'm, I haven't used it much. Okay. Um, later. Turn on. I don't know what it wants. Later. Okay, so then say, okay, I've noticed that guy's about to fall over. So how long did that take me? Now maybe some people can... Do that in a second. But from the time you see someone, well, I don't know, maybe they were staggering down the road toward the ER, and you were like, oh, that dude's going to fall. Let me get a picture. Now, how sad is that? Instead of running over to him and helping him, you're getting your cell phone out? Uh, yeah, but it happens. People are like that. Oh, it's an update. The number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Alabama is now at 106. Here's a list of the counties where the cases are. Let's see what we got here in my county. It's the biggest. Alabama's number of coronavirus cases has topped 100. Has topped 100. Jefferson has 50. I'm in Jefferson County. Everybody else has 11 or less. All the southern counties have just a few, yet they shut down the beaches. Unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Except that during spring break, a lot of them come from Jefferson County because there's a lot of rich, county, rich neighborhoods around here. This is where doctors and lawyers and Banks. You wouldn't believe how many banks are in this area. In Jefferson County. It's ridiculous. I'm turning this thing off while I'm thinking about it. It's not easy to use. Now, maybe not everybody has the type of phone where you've got to push this, push this. Slide this, draw a picture, you know, those are all features to keep just anybody from picking up my phone and using it. Maybe not everybody has all that on their phone. Like someone's going to walk in here and use it. I've been on here way too long. Okay, good night, goodbye, whenever it is, I'll talk to you later.